Arch of Triumph, one of the most iconic monuments in all of Paris. It was commissioned by Napoleon Bonaparte, the little corporal who became the emperor, but Napoleon never even got to ride through the arch. Construction was begun in 1806, but it wasn't completed until 1836. Napoleon died in 1821. He never got to see the completion of the arch, nor ride through the arch itself. The arch takes about 284 steps to the top. We just walked every one of them. Napoleon commissioned this to honor the Grand Army. They had been sweeping across Europe, fighting battle after battle, undefeated. Following the Australites' victory, he promised his soldiers, you will march home through arches of triumph. Napoleon was a comparatively small man, somewhere between 5'5 five five and 5'7, but he had enormous ambitions. And many believe that he was a military genius on the scale of Alexander the Great. Napoleon could not abide the quiet life on Elba. So on March 1815, with the help of some supporters, he made a daring escape. And somehow he managed to reinsert himself in the French government as emperor once again. This launched what was called the Hundred Day War. But eventually, all of Europe rallied against Napoleon, and he met to the end of his leadership in the bloody Battle of Waterloo. After that, he was exiled to the island in the South Atlantic Ocean called St. Helena, where he died a few years later. When we think about Napoleon's incredible ambition, his hunger for power, how did it all ultimately end? He in a tomb. The Bible says in Mark chapter 8, verse 36, what profit is it to a man if he gains the whole world and he loses his soul? We all need to make the same decision. What kind of recognition are we looking for? The recognition of being great in the world or being great in the sight of God? I hope that's your choice, friends. Check out some of our other videos on the Amazing Facts channel. And don't forget to subscribe right there. Do it now.